Hello guys, I'm going to be going over making a basic calculator in Visual Basic 2008 or 2010 or even 2011, whichever one that you're using. Um, the source code will be in the link below, so you can go and click that. So as you can see, I already began uh, creating a form. I sized it down. Um, I removed the icon. I changed the name. I disabled the maximize button. I added two text boxes, a label, and four buttons. Now I added the plus, minus, times, and divide. If you're looking for this symbol here, I'll have it in the description below. You just copy and paste it and it should be fine for you. So, to begin, we're just going to double click on the plus button. Now as you can see at the top, I already added um, a couple values. Now basically you need to create two integers uh, for each text box. So dim int1 as integer and dim int2 as integer. So these are going to be for text box 1 and text box 2. Now we need to check if the text boxes are blank. So now to do that, we're just going to do if text box 1 dot text equals nothing or text box two dot text equals nothing equals nothing then now we just hit enter it's going to add an end if so now we're just going to do a basic message box a message box and then we're just going to do an open parenthesis and we're just going to type in something like uh, please insert a number now if you really wanted to, you could split off that text and or that code and create two separate events. Um, it's just going to be simpler right now if you just do one. Um, but I mean if you really wanted to, you could. So that's just going to check if each one is blank. And if one is, it's not going to allow it to go on. So now what we need to do is we need to just hit enter. And then we just need to hit else in there. And now this is where it starts you know, actually executing everything. So we need to make sure this is tried just in case they try and put in a number or whatever, it's not going to crash the application. Um, so the try is going to be, uh, let's see, we need to set the integer. So we need to do int one dot or equals, sorry, equals text box one dot text, okay, and int two equals text box two dot text okay so now we've set up the integers now we need to actually do um, you know the addition here so I'm just gonna hit one more we're just gonna do label one dot text equals and now we're just gonna do and then we need to do the and symbol Oops, the and symbol there okay and now we need to just simply um, add int 1 plus int 2. And make sure you type it right. <laughs> Alright, so now when we go to playlist, if I hit, let's say I put in G, now A, it's going to tell me that it's blank. Okay, so it's not going to go any further than that. Um, but if I go, um, let's see, or 2 plus 2. As you can see, it equals 4. Now, if you really wanted to, as you can see, the equals is really close to the 4. So you could just really add another space or 2 after that. So that way, when they add the number here, when you do 2 plus 2, it, there's a little bit more space there, and it looks a little bit better. So now we should add some... If you want to add a message box or something in here, you can. So MSG box uh, invalid number I don't worry about spelling uh, now if I go ahead and do this if we put uh, G plus 2 let's say it's gonna say invalid number so it's as simple as that um, now we're just gonna basically copy and paste this code to the other buttons um, I'll be back when I'm done with that and I'll explain the code here in a second Alright, so as you can see, I went in and I just copy and pasted all the code. Now, the main thing, the only thing that you have to change is int whatever with the other int. So, minus, and then we did the times here, which is the asterisk symbol. Then we scroll down, I did divide, which is, of course, the slash. So, now if we go through here and we do each one, it should work. So, we just do uh, one, one, so plus, minus, times, and divide. All it all works, it all is simple. Of course, if we, again, if we try and enter, I don't know, the letter, and we try and do it then, of course, it's going to say invalid number. So this is very simple. Again, all the source code will be in the description below if you need that. 
Um, if you have any problems that you can't figure out and you've already gone through the source code, you can leave that below. Um, if you like, if you have any other ideas for other Visual Basic tutorials you'd like to see, you can leave those as well. Don't forget to follow me on all my social networks and like and subscribe for more Visual Basic tutorials. And thank you for watching.